This Whoa. is Frybo. I have seen the salty, starchy heart of darkness, and it is Frybo. I never thought the death of a potato product could be so brutal. That was so, like really so violent. violent. <laughs> that was wow. Uh, it was really funny though. Um, that was like something out of a horror movie. <laughs> Uh, this is an episode where Steven's looking for his pants, because he's a mess, Steven. Um, Haven't we all been there? Pantsless. I'm pantsless right looking now. Looking for them. Ew. Um, but, uh... That's yeah, why so, I'm blind. So he's trying to find his pants, and Pearl tells him that there's this missing shard of a jewel, and he loses focus and doesn't realize that the jewel brings clothes to life, so... Because he's thinking about his pants. Yes. And uh, apparently yeah. his pants are thinking about him as apparently well, because they are now alive! Uh, apparently is the substitutionary locomotion jewel. Yeah, and at the end especially we were like, Chukuda <laughs> You don't know what that is, watch bed knobs and Broomsticks. Classic! See an older movie! <laughs> Stupid millennials! <laughs> um, um, so, yeah, yeah, so he I, goes and, uh, you know, it tries to use it for good, and then he comes across this boy who has to be in this Frybo costume, and Steven suggests they put the jewel in there. Well, first he tries it, like, you know, playing up the joke, and then that doesn't work, so he tries the jewel. And Frybo at first seems great, but then he and turns And then he, they, he basically summoned Frythulu. Yeah. <laughs> is what happened there. There's, like, french fries, like, tentacles, like, shoving fries into people's mouths. And, I don't want any more fries! You two fucking fries! And the kid realizes that while they try to go and be kids, as he puts it, let's be kids, uh, his childhood might slowly be disappearing. That was my favorite John. moment where they, he keeps popping up, yeah. like, and each time the face changes. Like, a, uh, uh, so... Uh, <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and he realizes that the job's taking too much out You'll understand someday, Stephen, when you have a real job. But I do have a real job. I save humanity. <laughs> Um, and, uh, but then Frybo goes crazy, and the father apologizes for making me in the suit too long, even though he technically wasn't in the suit, and he probably should punish him. And then... <laughs> but they, they bond, Steven and, Steven uh, instead decides to use his clothes against Frybo, and what ensues is one of the most gruesome battles in What's even coming out of his mouth? History. Like, that yellow stuff. You just know, like, he's Pearl, taking the hand in, I, digging it out. I, I, see, I was just mesmerized by how... I'm like, wow! This is, if, you had, if you had shown this in, in a cartoon happening to a person, like, you'd be put in prison. <laughs> like, yeah, there would be some FCC violation. You'd be, you'd be locked in jail, throw away the key. Well, that's like um, in Short Circuit too. how it's like if that was done to a person, it would be like, you know, <laughs> ah, borderline and kill me! Yeah, it'd be like borderline NC-17. <laughs> no, Johnny, <laughs> my boy. No, if you showed this happening to a human, this would be a fucking NC-17 film. <laughs> I mean, basically, Pearl takes a spear, stabs the thing in the eyes, all of this ketchup. Yeah, they missed yeah, a good yeah. line. She shows Blood, that, let's just know, say blood. Oh, no, it's not blood. It's just ketchup. Like, that, that would have been a good line. All of this ketchup comes gushing out, completely soaks Pearl. Then, yeah, Steven goes to town with all the pants beating the shit out of the thing. Like, the, the thing tips over. Like, uh, uh, and then Steven, like, reaches into its mouth. It's like, uh, 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 pulls out, like, the, the gem that's keeping it alive. And then the thing finally mercifully dies. <laughs> I'm like, holy shit, that was like worse than Temple of Doom. Like, oom, God. But that's okay, because they give him a Viking funeral, which is pretty funny. That made me laugh, because I'm like, oh, please, if they're putting him on a boat, please set it on fire. And when he whipped out the little lighter, I'm like, yes! <laughs> um, so I, I appreciated the wanton violence. I'm like, wow. <laughs> Yo, on top of that, the animation, this one, like, was especially good, particularly the expressions. Uh, it just seemed really good. They they seem like borderline Ren and Stimpy and how, like, uh, really in, enjoyably, like, they're exaggerated, but they feel like they're still kind of physical. They don't feel flat. They feel like there's dimension to them, even though the smiles are getting really big, but you can see sort of the, the stretch lines with them and stuff. Uh, I, just, I, I thought cat hands, cat fingers are bad. I, I, I have a name for my pain, and it is Frybo. <laughs> well, even that Frybo, the way it's designed, you know, with that Ugh. weird big smile and everything. It's kind of like the Stay Put Marshmallow way. smile. It's so soulless. It's like happy but soulless at the same time. It's like one of your smiles. Um, yeah, just like that. And so imagine <laughs> that coming at you. 
Actually, I'm sure there's some fanfic writing. I would <laughs> like to imagine that coming at them. I, I would have loved to. Uh, I always joked that my smile was the basis for the Burger King mascot. <laughs> the Burger King King. Um, just the smile. Um, but yeah, so t terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. It, 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 it was very funny, though. Um, the horror. The horror. Th there's a lot of things I could identify with, particularly the losing the focus in the opening, because that's happened to me quite a bit. Like, somebody's talking, then my mind will want to be like, shit, what What that person say? Shit, he's still talking. Um, um, just nod, yeah, you know what, if I don't remember, I'll just say I blanked out, because I actually have no problem. Most conventions, <laughs> if you're talking to Doug about anything, all he's thinking of is, where are my pants? <laughs> <laughs> if you see me and I'm sitting down at a table, my pants are not on. So... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we see him at the next convention, probably. Yeah. Finland's gonna see how pantsless I really go. Uh, but apparently that's not a thing there anyway. <laughs> so, the song is. Um, Can we get back to fully clothed No, let's talk about me pantsless. Yeah. Let's, let's Clearly not, more important. Let's not say we did. Um, no, the animation was very good. The uh, I, I, I like this kid that they introduced. The one that feels like, you know, his, his childhood is slipping I like away. that their hair looks like french fries. That's yeah. a nice touch. Uh, I like that, too. Um, I uh, Little touches that they say. I don't know why. Like You're I said, loved just, and wanted by me and our, all of our affiliates. <laughs> <laughs> Steven himself just with this little cat he's, he's such a, he's friggin adorable I just love the way he's looking through it he just goes you know you are a mess Steven I'm like that is so precious <laughs> uh, um, I think the uh, it's one of the few ones where you only see one of the um, what are they just gems or what are the, the women no the, Chris, crystal gems is that what they're the called the hot gem chicks so. okay Jim is my name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, I, you think that was always the joke that they're called Jim, except I, it's spelled properly. <laughs> I don't know. I never thought about that. Because uh, it I has know, kind of a I, gem feel. I'm mostly in the dark about this show, so I don't know much about the creation of it. Um, but no, I like it because it sort of had like a little bit of like it had the extreme action at the end. It had kind of a goofiness. This was the, the most. This is the most fun around. episode so far of this set we've watched. Yeah. Um, the previous two were good, but this, I like this one a lot, just for yeah. how fun it was. Yeah, it just, it felt like it was, it, it, how do I put it, it's kind of like an action-packed Spongebob episode, it had kind of that random humor to it too, it, actually, it felt more like an Adventure Time episode, the more I think about it, uh, you know, it had a lot of good laughs, but it also had some That's decent character in Go with that, don't bring in the sponge. The, the hate that Spongebob gets, I'm not gonna act like I'm shocked, but it's, it, it's like, it's, it's a fucking Spongebob. He's called Spongebob Squarepants. How can you hate something called Spongebob Squarepants? How is it warranting that hate? I'm just oh. indifferent to it, but apparently there's like a whole... There's like this diehard There's hate. a legion of... No, there's this legion of people who sincerely believe as part of their religion, if you will... That Spongebob was once a great and worthy show, and that somehow the sponge has lost his way and jumped the shark, I guess, as it were, in the ocean. Some it's a sponge! Multiple seasons there are people just like, no, you don't get it! After season three, the show went to shit! <laughs> and like, and then there's somebody like, no, but the movie brought it back! We're now in the golden age of sponge! After but they made Patrick there's like this Gay, whole everything cult went downhill. Yeah. <laughs> I, so, I, I don't know. I, I've never been a fan. I don't... I hate it more for the attention it gets more than I hate the show itself. Well, it is overplayed. It's kind of like the Frozen of Nickelodeon. It though. is totally the Frozen of Nickelodeon. It's more just because, like, I can't go flipping through stations without finding it on somewhere. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, is it running 24-7? Like, does Nickelodeon own 12 networks and SpongeBob has to be running at the same time as somewhere? Like... But, yeah, otherwise, I, I don't care about Spongebob, but... Hey, we got sidetracked again. This Sorry. show is uh, not... Or, or was that your argument, that this show is Spongeworthy? <laughs> <laughs> well played. I like the way you it in. Seinfeld! Uh, look it up! I don't, know if, I don't know if Spongeworthy is a good thing or a bad thing in this case, um, but... Uh, we'll need to interview it. <laughs> <laughs> to find I, out. I like it better than Spongebob, um, but... Uh, yeah, no, the, uh, uh, like I said, it's, the animation in this one particularly stood out to me as, uh, just really funny, and even when they're having the more honesty, like that scene you were talking about where the kid's head 
keeps popping up in the frame. Uh, you know, it gets sadder <laughs> so, and sadder. It's that's both so sad real, and awkward. Yeah, at the same th that's time. both really funny and really sad at the same time. And I like it when episode can kind of combine that comedy with like. What, what, know, what would we call that? You know, sad, sad word? Sockward? Sockward. Um, I think just awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Sadly no, uh, awkward. <laughs> So, yeah, no, good episode, uh, uh, really funny, uh, like I said, especially good animation. Um, Nearly sponge-worthy. Yes, and uh, brutal. Very brutal. Um, and <laughs> so much violence, so much yummy, delicious, starchy, salty, greasy violence. There's probably, like, you know, a family of fry guys watching. Just no, I want french fries. fries. Are they going to run out of food? I don't know. We're going to get, you know, we're going to get in trouble, though, if they start upping, like, the price quotient. Like, next it's going to be fighting sushi. Like, shit, that's going to get expensive. <laughs> if someone ever makes, like, a Steven Universe restaurant, like, you would never run out of menu options. You would just always have oh, I would go something there. that connects I would to totally the show. Go there. <laughs> so would I. Sweet! Let's order the together breakfast and then the fry bow plate. And now the cat fingers. Wait, are they made from real cats? They are! Well, you bet I'm getting those! No! <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, good episode, uh, we'll see you at the next one.